Bristol's very first Bush start was in Rockingham in the fall of 1996. Got the white flag on his final lap. Mile and a third to go. Float that thing down in the corner, hit your marks, get back to that throttle. Don't overdrive your corner. One more set of corners to go. Just don't make a mistake. You got this one in the bag, buddy. Just don't make a mistake. Jason Keller is out of time. Greg Biffle hauls it down off three. He's headed into four. Here he comes back to the line for the last time to win the inaugural race here at the new National Super Speedway. And Greg Biffle wins his first NASCAR Bush Series race, the Pepsi 300 at the Nashville Super Speedway. Jason Keller finishes second, Scott Wimmer third, Randall LaJoy drives up to fourth position, and Elton Sawyer ends up fifth. White flag is out. Biffle at 133 laps at Nashville. Today he's led 84, led 85, excuse me. Lap to go, goes down the back stretch. Plenty of room behind it, plenty of room in front of it. Greg Biffle's going to win his second race of the 2001 season in a good battle for second. Yeah, we got three cars here. We got Kevin Harvick, we got Jeff Green, Jason Keller. That's the way they're going to come across the line. Yep, Harvick held them off, held off the teammates. So Greg Biffle wins his second race of the NASCAR Bush season. He won the first time at Nashville on April 14th. Window net goes down. Comes to pit road. The crew ran back to meet him. Up oh, here he is, right in his pit. Little ether in through the intake, little gas in the tank, and he's being held for a penalty by the NASCAR official. Well, he was speeding down pit road, but when your motor's off, your tack's not working, that's how you get your pit road speed. And the 60 car has taken the white flag right there. He's on his last lap. It looks like he may, once again, prove us wrong. And Skinner running out of gas will help Biffle because now it's 13 seconds back to the next car, Matt Kenson. So Greg Biffle going to come around here looking for his third win of the season, his seventh top five, and really edge into Kevin Harvick's point lead. Biffle across the stripe, the winner. Wow, 104 laps, 104 green flag laps. Exactly, Larry. I mean, because when I saw the 21 car coming down pit road, I was thinking, hey, he went two laps further than the 60 car did to begin with. So, hey, as we talked about earlier, these guys are great poker players, and guess who won the game today? Man. Jeff Burton's third. Kevin Harvick fourth, and Ashton Lewis is going to come up in fifth place. Ashton Lewis, good job. Great job. Checkered flag is up for Greg Biffle. He wins the Little Trees 300 in Charlotte under the caution. Biffle's fourth victory, a new NASCAR Bush Series record for most wins by a rookie. But he's not, because white flag this time. It's always an if in racing. Greg Biffle smooth off a two. The gap does not change between he and pole sitter Jeff Green. Big knot of cars racing for about seventh place. But Biffle's going to get his sixth career win, all on super speedways. Greg Biffle, Jeff Green, Bobby Hamilton, Scott Wimmer, Jack Sprague, the top five. Sprague is the series' new point leader. Another good run for Ron Hornaday Jr. Finishes sixth, that 26 car. But what really helped Greg Biffle right then, whenever he got by Kerry Earnhardt, whenever Jason Keller called him, he called him just as he entered the corner, which really hurt Keller getting down in that corner bell and hold that line. So. Uh, Lap traffic could still have a factor with only a lap to go. It's going to be real interesting. Back stretch for the final time. Jimmy Kitchen's just ahead. Chad Chaffin in front of him. Jason Keller is going to throw it in there as I, hard as he can. I guarantee he will right here. This is last shot, but I don't think it'll work. Greg Biffle brings it off turn four. 
to the checkered flag seventh career victory for Greg Biffle in the Granger Ford second win of the season and he becomes the only driver to repeat at Milwaukee ever. Jason Keller gets his 10th top five and Scott Wimmer ties his best career finish winding up third. Boy, what a day led 168 laps that's pretty dominant. Their third top five finish in four races but you know when you're when you're looking for that first win as a race team obviously Ron Hornaday's won before it's tough to lose one that way when you think you have the best car. Final lap for Greg Biffle trying to put one away for the cat in the hat. No doubt watching up in New Hampshire as he gets set to see his Winston Cup teams run tomorrow. Biffle has an incredible record over the last couple of months. He's finished eighth or better the last eight straight weeks. Three second place finishes, two third place finishes, and now it'll be his third win in that time. Off the corner. It is red and black in victory lane. Greg Biffle wins at St. Louis. Ron Hornaday led 141 laps, but he's going to come up in second, almost two seconds behind Biffle. Kevin Grubb third, Jack Sprague fourth, Tony Rains fifth, and those are the guys that got it done for Biffle tonight. Keller looking low. Here he comes to the inside. Can he pull up alongside? White flag is out. Not yet. Biffle still holding on. And that time Biffle went to the bottom of the racetrack and blocked Keller. Is he going to bump him? Half a lap to go. Keller, one final shot at three and four. Clear racetrack. Let's see if he can put the slide job on him. Looking inside. Final corner. Not going to be enough. Fred Biffle wins at IRP. What a great finish. Great run for Scott Wimmer to finish third. Johnny Sauter, good fourth place run. Those 10 cars plus Scott Riggs finishing on the lead lap. How about it for Greg Biffle? His fourth win of 2002, all coming in the last nine races. Coming to the white flag. We've seen things go wrong in the last lap here before. Let's see. Final mile and a half. Greg Biffle took the lead at lap 20 for the first time in this race. It was, about, it was about 1964 that Richard Petty was leading this race about right here on the last lap. Blue right front tire. Fred Lorenzen won. Well, Biffle can just about coast home from here. He gets to the corner. Good job, Eric Phillips. Great job, seven guys. Checkered flag, Greg Biffle wins at Charlotte. 12 seconds over Michael Waltrip, a dominating performance today, leading 118 of the 200 laps. Seconds coming eventually. It is. Wow. <laughs> Long that, time. I'm going to look this up, but that might be the largest margin of victory so oh, far this season. Now, buddy. One more. Bring it home. One more lap for Greg Griffel. Biffle in his 11th NASCAR Busch Series race of 2003, his 10th with the team. They've really come on lately, finished third at Kansas City, won the race at Charlotte. Had some tough luck in Memphis last weekend when they gave up the pole for Biffle to get in the car on race day, got involved in an early crash. But they've made up for it here today in Atlanta. Greg Biffle with a late rally to the front, and he wins the Aarons 312 by eight-tenths of a second over Matt Kenseth. Still all up over yeah, that, huh? Yeah. I'll tell you what, that team has done so well with this month, last three or four weeks. Yep. Two wins in the last three races. I like the way Truex has run his race, Darrell. He saved the best for the end. Woo! Baking them on. <laughs> <laughs> Might have saved a little piece for that wall over there, too. <laughs> I'm looking at this battle back there with two laps to go with Casey Abbey and Mike Bliss. They were just three wide going down into turn three. Strebby and Benson off turn four for the white flag. They were side by side. Now go back single file. This could get interesting because uh, Benson's a little quicker. Strebby's going to block. See Johnny fade to the outside. They wanted to put a crossover move on him, but Strebby got back to the throttle a little quicker than he thought he would, I believe. 
Sixth Darlington appearance for Greg Biffle as Robert Presley gets a lap back. Biffle will see the checkered flag for his first Darlington Bush Series victory. And a really nice job of that team. Very nice. Spin back straight away. Car to the inside wall. Ponstein. Stremme holds off Benson to the line. It's a battle for fifth right there. You have David Stremme. 91 sitting there in third. They said they would stretch it, and they have. A lot of emotion in Greg Biffle's pit. Checkered flag in the air. Greg Biffle wins the State of Brothers 300. And I wasn't California dreaming, and this ain't no. Greg Biffle comes to the strike. Remember, he started at the back of the field after coming in from Pocono this morning. Mike McLaughlin practiced and qualified the car, helped the team with the setup yesterday. Kyle Busch did win from the back of the field in a backup car at Kentucky Motor Speedway back in June. But for Greg Biffle, it's going to be a back to front kind of day here in Colorado. The strategy worked in his favor, and Greg Biffle picks up his fourth win of 2004. Well, it looks like Biffle's 60 car made a terrific corner that time. Comes off turn two of the two or three car length lead. It's going to be a sweep in 2004 for the NASCAR oh, yeah. Series in California for Greg Biffle. Biffle wins the Target House 300 after a terrific. Because it lays out his strategy for the rest of the way. They did catch the caution just right, which tonight there were a multi chances of that. White flag. White flag. But the white flag. Still need to pass somebody else. Nice to move one more time. Best battle is for sixth. Joe Nemechek, Michael Walter, while Truex and Yaley, and Hamlin and Barrett from 10th on back. Nice job tonight, guys. I would say so. Yeah, you didn't do bad yourself there either, Beth. Nice job on your part. From bringing out the first caution to driving to victory lane, Greg Biffle does it. There is Elliott Sadler second, David Stremme third, Harvick fourth. And look at this race for 15. That's Paul Menard and Kenny Wallace. Trade paint and sheet metal all the way to the line. Paul Menard wins the battle uh, with those four fresh tires. Now this team right here, this is Bruco Motorsports. This was the 27 team from last year. They've not been to victory lane since 2003, Kansas. So a long dry spell for this race team. Pace car pulled away. This should be quite a shootout here in the final couple laps. Green, white, checkered flag at Las Vegas. Biffle, can he hold on? Green flag waves. Watch for the move by Carl Edwards. Biffle was in the gas, but Jason Leffler did a good job. Jason Leffler's out, out, out of gas. gas. It'll pick up. It'll pick back up. Just keep digging the best you can. It'll pick up. Still outside. That opens the door for Edwards. Here he comes. He's on the bumper. He's there. Right in front of Dale Earnhardt Jr. He goes high inside. He's going to have to hold it right here. This is where the car can get really loose. Here comes Biffle on the outside. He's going to squeeze it down there. Teammates, they almost come together. White flag this time by. There's Brian Vickers trying to take that third spot away from Dale Jr. You got to hand it to Biffle right there. He did a good job of keep his car on the outside of Carl Edwards and put him in that spot and have to back off. Yeah, he drove it in there just hard enough to keep him pinched down. You can see Carl's car get loose. He had to get out of the throttle. Vickers takes a third spot away from Dale Earnhardt Jr. Six car lengths back to Carl Edwards. Turn three. Here comes Edwards. Five car lengths. Here comes Biffle out of turn four. And the 76 race winless streak is over as Greg Biffle wins at Vegas. Jason Leffler's car picked back up, too, and he came back to finish fifth, or actually fourth. Yeah, the, the, the part that was going to be a problem was that restart. Yeah, you were exactly right there. Great job by Greg Vickers. Nice job by those guys. Eddie Pardue, City Financial Team for Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle, you are the man. Waves. The race is over immediately. See if Greg Biffle can hold them off. Here they come with a green flag. Is he going to change his starting point uh, a little bit here? Yeah, he did. He jammed them up behind. A lot of cars running into each other behind these guys. And Bliss is getting under assault from above and below. There is the Brendan gone. 
And we might have some penalties forthcoming from that. But you can't pass to the left regardless of what happens. Out of turn four, white flag, little contact there, McDowell and Stephen Wallace. Here comes Biffle. Left Left four drove it hard down into turn one. Here comes Kevin Harvick on the inside of David Reagan. It's gonna be a little too little too late. Looks good for Greg Biffle. Well, the numbers said there has not been a lead change in the final 10 laps in 14 previous races. How about making it 15 races? Because Greg Biffle call, will come down and win it at Phoenix. Jack Roush has now won 100 races in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Awesome job, Bim. Awesome job. Big crew, nice job. Yeah, boys. That's well, you got to do it. We can't week out. Well, we thought Greg Biffle was going to be a sitting duck when he didn't make that pit stop, but sure did pay off, didn't Man, he? Man, sure did. I, I honestly would have never believed that they, those guys could have stayed out there in front, but uh, he and Jason Leffler did a fantastic job. Finished first and second. 